There must be hundreds of secondary maths resources on the market, but who has time to go and find the best? Well, here on Resource Review, we aim to help by evaluating three of them. Watch how many A handheld motion sensor. OK, press the trigger, drop the ball. A series of CD-ROMs containing mathematics okay. tasks. And you answer them. And a downloadable mathematical toolkit. What will our panel of experts think of them? Find out in a moment here on Resource Review. Joining me to recommend today's resources is Adam Crean. Adam is Head of Mathematics at Silesian School in Surrey. On the panel today we have Adrian Oldno from the University of Chichester and we also have Chris Ollie, Mathematics Education Consultant from Education Interactive. Welcome, thanks for coming along. Adam, your first resource that you've recommended today mm -hmm. is from Texas Instruments. It's the calculator-based ranger sitting here on the table. What is this resource? Okay, the calculator-based ranger is a way of measuring distances in the classroom. Um, for it, you need a Texas Instruments graphic calculator, and it plugs into the ranger on, using a simple USB lead. It's got the distance sensor at the front, and uh, do a quick demo, Adrian, if you'd like to uh, okay. swing the ball. See you just uh, press the start button on the calculator. As the ball swings backwards and forwards, it's measuring the distance, sending the information to the calculator, and then after the um, time's passed, you get a distance time graph. You can see distance and then right. the ball swinging backwards and forwards. Now, what is it about this resource that you particularly like? Well, it's really practical. You can use it with small objects in the classroom. You can even get students up and walking around and do it for people maths. So it's a way of collecting real data. All right, thank you very much. Before we discuss it any further, let's go and see how the ranger measures up in the classroom. We visited Slough Grammar School, where teacher Marek Guidus is using it with his class. Yes. What I've been using today is a Texas Instrument Ranger. Today's lesson was basically just having a look at movement of toy cars, pendulums, bouncing balls and so on, um, and just seeing how the real life situation is represented on a graph. What it's going to produce is a real time graph of distance, the distance is moving back, against time. Any educational software that is of any use at all must do something um, in a way that is better than the teacher could do without it. What this does, because it's taking real life data and presenting it immediately, it's doing something which a teacher couldn't do, not even an overhead projector or a whiteboard. I found that everything I wanted it to do, it did. And so in that sense, it was very effective. Watch how many times it bounces in the given time as well. OK, press the trigger, drop the ball. That's good. How many bounces did that do? How can I use those measurements to find the percentage rebound? I think it does a job which otherwise would be done by a teacher taking a long time setting up equipment this is hands-on, it's immediate, simple to use, and there would be no problem for pupils to use it and get a lot out of it. Adam, our teacher there suggested that the Ranger and its add-ons took the place of setting up complicated mm -hmm. equipment, but to me, there's still quite a lot of setup that goes into it. It depends how complicated you want to make it. I mean, the basic setup, again, you've got the calculator and the Ranger. Um, if you plug them in and switch the calculator on, it automatically jumps the software that you need, so you don't need to spend ages trying to find it. Now, I understand if you buy enough of the calculators, the Ranger is something that you can get free. Is That's that right? right. Texas have a volume purchase program, so if you buy a certain number, maybe a class set or so, then you can get books and equipment um, for free from them. And the range is one of the things that's available through that. And it is fully dependent on having the calculator. You can't so. do it without a Texas Instruments graphic calculator, no. OK, thank you very much. <laughs> Let's open it up to the panel. Adrian, what do you think about the Ranger? 
Well, I'm very, very glad Adam chose that because it's one of my favourite little devices. Mm -hmm. It really does bring the real world to life with kids doing their own movements in front of it. For example, distance time graphs are known to be very difficult for kids to interpret. They see a line going up sort of at a diagonal and they think it means you're going uphill. Right. But if they actually can replay in their mind the video of themselves walking it, they know that they were walking fast or slow or towards or away. So it's a very powerful quick feedback to help clear up some quite fundamental concepts. Chris, what do you think of this resource? I'm a fan as well. It's, uh, it's got built into it a very simple starting point exercise in which students match their motion to preset um, distance time graphs which overcomes exactly what Adrian has said in a very quick and powerful way and gets you very quickly into discussions about faster, slower, further, closer, which is exactly where you need to be when talking about distance and time. Now, we saw it there being very usefully projected onto the whiteboard. Mm -hmm. Is that another add-on that you might need to purchase? Yeah, I mean, you have different options for displaying the data on the screen. You could use an OHP tablet. Um, but Texas are developing software that you can actually plug the calculator into a computer and do it on an interactive whiteboard straight away. OK, thank you all very much. Now let's move on to Adam's second choice of resource. And it's the first in a series of CD-ROMs called Task Maths Interactive. Adam, tell us about this. OK, well, this one's called Sequence Machines, and it's based on um, a best-selling books by Derek and Barbara Ball called Task Maths, where they approach maths not by looking at a particular topic, but by looking at ideas and following them through different topics um, in a chapter. Um, this first piece of software is designed for the interactive whiteboard. It's got teacher activities, it's got pupil activities, and it's got teacher notes as well. So it's something that you know, is going to be useful all through a lesson. OK, thank you. Well, we returned to Slough Grammar School, and this time, Head of Maths, Sukhdev Ajimal, is using this resource with his class. The product I've been using today is Tasks Math Interactive. Okay, the software itself has a very, very good interactive interface where the students are actually allowed to enter numbers in or at the same time they're allowed to enter arithmetical expressions as well, such as plus, minus, divide, times as well. Right, that allows them to generate sequences, also allows them to work out nth terms, special formulas for the sequence to actually generate it as well. Also gives them a chance to actually use mental math skills as well, as, especially when you're doing as a whole class um, activity. Now count to one, right, that means the first number is two in the sequence. Does everybody understand that? The way I did it was I split the class up and um, allowed you know, one side to um, play against the other and they'll work out mental uh, maths in their head to actually generate a term number in the sequence. I started off with simple um, exercises first which was just simply generating a sequence they were given the start number and they were given the step size as well, so therefore they had to um, work out four terms in each of the sequences. And the exercises got harder and harder. It simplifies the sequence process, but sometimes working out in your head can be hard. And I think this program makes it easy and fast and brilliant. Don't you think of it? I personally think it's a fantastic package because it allows the students to actually test their mental math skills and it shows them in a, a visual sense how you can generate sequences and gives them the chance to use software rather than just being a, a board and talk sort of lesson. So it makes it more interactive for the, the students. There. Okay. But there are different number of machines that you have to work through. I think the kids really did enjoy the lesson today. I mean, it, it reinforced the whole concept of number machine sequences as well and it's made my life easier today. Well, Adam, the pupils particularly seem mm -hmm. to really like this resource, but it seemed quite simplistic to me. Is there more to it than we saw? Definitely. Um, when you start it up and you get to the main menu, there's a choice of seven different setups for it. So you can start off with a basic sequence where you just have a number and add or subtract or whatever to it. But you can set it up. There's um, a thing that's on there about looking at limits. So you can set it up where it does two operations and as it keeps feeding around the loop, you're seeing what happens next. Or, in fact, the, the topic is called what happens eventually. Right. So it's looking at you know, where the sequence eventually ends up. 
Um, the other thing that's quite versatile about it is that when the students are using it, or even better when using it at the whiteboard, you can hide all the different elements of the sequence. So you can either just have the numbers counting up, or you can show the term number and the numbers counting up. Um, and that way the students have to think more carefully about what's going on. It's right. an ideal way for developing questioning skills. Well, let's hear what the panel think. Chris, you first. Well, I thought the screen display was very clear and very easy to use, which is ideal for interactive whiteboards. It supports a good way of teaching, a nice interactive way of teaching. But ultimately, I thought it was a little bit limited in that it dealt with sequences with one particular presentation. And as the teacher said, it doesn't leave a trace of the sequence. So it's mm -hmm. easy to lose track of what students are learning. And possibly, for a little less money, you could achieve the same sort of effect using a spreadsheet. Adrian, what are your thoughts on Task Maths Interactive? Well, I think it's very nicely produced. It's obviously directly relevant to something that's on the curriculum that teachers have to teach. And I can see many people thinking that meets their problem, and as the teacher did on the, on the vid videotape there. On the other hand, it is a pretty limited uh, piece of mathematics and it's something where teachers with sufficient skills could almost certainly produce their own materials that would actually show the results they wanted and would cost them nothing. So if they've got the time, they could write something themselves? Yes. And does that kind of, I mean, it implies to me that there isn't anything else on the market that's filling this niche. I mean, is that fair to say? It's either this or you write it yourself? I think so. I think that is fair to say. Well, thank you. Now let's move on to Adam's third choice of resource, and this is the Mathematical Toolkit. Mm -hmm. This is available free on the internet. That's right. Basically, the toolkit has been developed. Um, it's presented on the school website, which has Theo's in it for some reason. Um, <laughs> but it's also done in association with Mathematical Association um, and with Intel, um, who provides some of the funding for it. And it's really got four things on there. There's an interactive number line, and then there's specific tools for graphing and for data handling and for geometry as well. It's got very clear interface for use of interactive whiteboards. You're not having to type a lot. You can do most things from the board. Um, and also, it's very interactive, so you can you know, get shapes, and you can transform them, you can use the number line, you can move things around. One of the strongest features on the number line is that you can actually develop algebra as an extension of arithmetic. So you can set little flags as one of them moves, the other one moves, and the students have to work out what's the connection. Is it a simple addition rule? Is it multiplication? So it's right. a way of developing algebra skills as well. Chris, would you agree with Adam's description? Yeah, I think so. I mean, clearly the critical feature is it's free. It's got a good graph plotter, good charting, um, a nice interactive number line, and it will do some rudimentary geometry, and that's nice. And it does it in a way which is very clear on an interactive whiteboard. Probably compared to more expensive um, graph plotters, it's a little limited and the interface is a little clunky, but it looks nice and it's a nice tool that allows good teachers to generate interesting teaching ideas, and it's a tool that's available for them to get started with. Adrian, a good thing? Yes, and the other thing about it, it's a web-based resource and it's not just designed for teachers to use. It can be used by students doing their own investigations. So if you don't have your own graphical calculator or you haven't got a, a home license for using software, anybody can use it. Right. One of the other things is that it has actually got some videos and still images which you can bring in to do the graph plotting over. So it actually another way of bringing the real world into the maths classroom. Um, I'm afraid that's all we've got time for today, but to recap, the three resources that we looked at were The Calculator-Based Ranger from Texas Instruments Task Maths Interactive CD-ROM from Cambridge Hitachi And finally, the Mathematical Toolkit from school.co.uk For more information about all of the resources that we've talked about today, go to our website, it's teachers.tv forward slash resource review or if you want to you can email us resource review at teachers.tv all that remains for me to do is to say a very big thank you to the panel to adam to adrian and to chris thank you for joining us we'll see you next time on resource review bye bye